Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Sagittarius. So this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now keep in mind that not every reading is for you, okay? And the timing is fluid on this reading. I think you guys are really giving somebody a hard time. I'm not sure who it is, but it is somebody because this is my third reading I've done for you. And uh, you've really been giving me a hard time. <laughs> So I don't know what's going on, uh, but you're giving somebody a hard time. And there's a warning we, in both readings that I did. Warning, there's somebody that is working against you. There's nothing new. We already know that. I mean, you've had that been going on for a long time here. Um, you are in defense mode. You, The first card out was the Seven of Wands. And the last one I did, that is in defense mode. Standing your ground. Will not budge. Protecting yourself as well. I think that you're in protection mode, you know. You're wanting to protect yourself. You're standing your ground. You need to stand your, or you're feeling like you need to stand your ground. Maybe that's how you feel. But I feel like you really need to open your heart. Because in both readings that I did, we had the Ace of Cups in the upright position. So that tells me that... You know, there's an opportunity for love here, new start in love or things to get better, you know, happiness. But I feel like you really need to open your heart to, in a new direction. Like, we had the Queen of Wands in the upright as well. I think that you are a force to be reckoned with. I think that you are in a very strong position. That Queen of Wands was next to the Seven of Wands, so that is a very strong position. You are in a position of power. Um, you're probably looking very good. Somebody is very, very attracted to you. You're putting out a very strong vibe, a high vibrational vibe. There is somebody here that is sick, though. So you, I don't know if, you, if you're dealing with somebody that is sick or if you're the sick one. It could go vice versa. There's an illness that needs to be healed because we had the Three of Swords reversed, which was healing, healing from an illness, healing from you know, some sort of pain. Now that could be some heartache that you have suffered in the past. There's an opportunity for love here. There absolutely is, but healing is needed. Forgiveness is needed in the oper in the ability to leave the past behind because that's what the Three of Swords is. But anyway, let's get started. You have an, in the Angel Romance deck, we had, yes, this is your soulmate. So I feel like you have a soulmate that is right in front of you that you may be pushing away in some way. Maybe it's to protect yourself, you know, or you may have your guard up and you need to let your guard down. So anyway, what do we have? And I think it's another fire sign because I saw fire. I saw fire. It's a lot. It's somebody that has, if it's not another fire sign, somebody that has a lot of fire in their chart. One card just came out. It happens to be a good one. Thank the Lord. Beetle. Good fortune. Good luck. Okay. So there is some good fortune that is coming your way. This is your lucky break. Okay. Um, what do we have for Sagittarius? Yoke, feeling frustrated or tied down, feeling tied down or frustrated. If that is the case, I think that your luck is going to change, okay? You're going to, on the bottom of this deck, it's hard to hold because it's a thick deck, getting together with friends. We have dogs. It says getting together with friends. I think that you're going to be getting, it happened, I just see two dogs. So I feel like you're going to be getting together with somebody. This is a very fortunate meeting. It's a fortunate get together. I think things are going to get better for you if you have been in some sort of frustrating situation. Um, what do we have for Sagittarius? This card didn't come up. Speeding causes accidents. So there's there's a need to, to go slow. Slow down. Beware if you're moving too fast. There could be an accident. And when people see that card, they automatically think it has to do with a vehicle. It could. It absolutely could have to do with speeding in a vehicle. But it could also have to do with running. You trip and you fall. It could have to do with cutting up vegetables. You know, you're cutting too fast. You cut your finger. There's something you need to slow down. Slow down in every aspect of your life so that you don't cause an accident. Uh, Timing is everything. Sometimes you need to go slow to make sure you get it right. So anyway, what do we what do we have for Sagittarius? Slow down or there could be an accident. Aries. Some of you may be dealing with an Aries or somebody that has uh, strong Aries in their chart. Now, Ram, this is a Ram. Aries is ruled by Mars, which is the planet of 
you know, war. So it is, it's, 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 it's war, you know, it is fighting, fighting, fighting. And I think you've been fighting something. You may be, you may, you know, it's like, you know, you want to be the boss. I want to be the boss. I am the boss. You're in charge, you know, and that could be the battle that you're, that you're dealing with. You could also be dealing with somebody that, you know, is taking charge. This is somebody that wants to be the boss, that is the boss. They're taking charge. Um... All right, let's get one of these angel romance. So you're, some of you are dealing with another fire sign. I'm positive. Somebody that is very feisty. Um, and there's, there's fight mode, fight mode, fight mode. You know, I think that there's a, a need for you to let your guard down. Maybe it's time to stop protecting yourself and open up your heart. I saw open up your heart a lot, a lot in the last two readings. So what do we have for Sagittarius? I think that it's time for you to take control of your life to get things in order. It things are gonna start getting better. I'm positive. I'm positive. Here we go. Oh, same card that we had in the last one. Yes, this is your soulmate. You are connecting with somebody that is your soulmate. I'm, I know it. This, I mean, this does not happen. Okay. Unbelievable. But on the bottom of the deck, we have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moments. Now, I have just summed up the whole reading in these two cards, pretty much. There's something in, remember we saw the three of swords, or well, I saw it, you didn't see it, in reverse in the other reading. That's healing the past. You need to let go of the past. You need to let go of the past hurts. I feel like you have a healing love. You need to forgive. The three of swords reverse is a card of forgiveness. Forgive the past. Everything happens for a reason. You have a lucky break here. You have an opportunity that is right in front of you that you need to grab onto. You need to take it. You need to take control. You need to... Uh, not have any fear because Aries is fearless, okay? No fear, no fear, no fear. Don't let fear hold you back from an, for, from an opportunity for big, 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 big love, okay? Because I feel like you have big love here. I do. And I feel like you're dealing with somebody in your past that controlled you in some way that makes maybe it makes you feel like you can't trust what do we have for Aries? <laughs> it's not Aries. It's Sagittarius. I was looking at that Aries card. You're definitely dealing with somebody that has Aries in their chart. Strong. Or an Aries is coming into your life. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Three of Swords. Because that's the way it goes. Suffering. Four of Wands reversed. Eight of Pentacles. You need to put in more effort. Hierophant reversed. We saw that last time too, or at least I did. Justice upright. Queen of Pentacles. There's somebody here that is solid, that is stable, that is real, that is making you a real solid offer. Ten of Swords and the Nine of Swords reversed. We had this one, too, in the other reading. The Empress. Okay? We have the Empress here. The Empress is a goddess of love. This is a mother. This is somebody that does everything with love, that really, 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 really cares for you. If you are a woman watching this, somebody sees your beauty. They want you. They love you. They want you to take care of them. Um... They see you as somebody that can take care of them, that can nurture them. They see your beauty. If you are a woman watching this, if you are a man watching this, or a masculine, however, and I, whatever, you take it, I say man, I say woman, masculine, feminine, whatever. If you are a masculine watching this, you have a feminine here that can take very, very, very good care of you. This person does everything with love. This is also the birth of a new life. This is the... Um, this is the story, okay? This is this is it. This is the energy of this reading. This is the card on the bottom. This is it. This is the birth of a new life. But but 
The Empress doesn't get her blessing. She doesn't get her miracle without experiencing some sort of pain. We talk about this a lot. And that Three of Swords is the pain. So I think that you're going through some pain right now. You're in some sort of painful situation where, I don't know if it's where you currently live or, you know, you've been, um, I don't know. It feels like this is a disgrace. There's, I feel like you've been disgraced. This is embarrassed uh, by a father figure. There's an absent father here or an absent, uh, or somebody has abused them. They've abused their power over you. We have the hair of Mont reversed right in the middle. That is a father figure or somebody that ha had a position of authority that has, um, not done the right thing. They have not done the right thing. They have abused their power over you. This is somebody that um, has caused you to lose faith, you know, and to not believe. Maybe you don't believe in commitment. You don't believe in in um, God. Or you don't believe in a higher power or you don't believe that you deserve to be loved or something like that. Somebody, this is a, is a disgrace. I feel like, and it, maybe it's a family member. The first card out is a 10 of pentacles reverse. That is a, you know, it's a family feud. I, I wonder if you've been through some sort of family situation with somebody that has totally um, left you beaten. We have the 10 of swords. This is caused you a lot of pain. We have the three of swords, the hero font reversed, and the 10 of swords. That's extremely painful. Painful suffering and the death, death, de ten of swords is like a death. Okay, this is this is being beat down, being beat down, being being stabbed right in the back, being betrayed. You know, I think that you've reached a point where this is like rock bottom. But I feel like you, they're 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 bringing you a golden opportunity to help you get up. This is help. I feel like you're receiving somebody is is coming in to help. They're coming in to help you. They're coming in. To to help you heal from this I feel like it's abuse I feel like you've been abused by somebody I feel like you've there's there's family issues here it's almost like you're you don't fit in we've got the four of wands reversed you don't fit in I feel like there's about to be some sort of ending I think that this is the end of suffering. It's the end of a painful existence where you haven't been getting what you deserve. You're about to get what you deserve with this justice card, which happens to be in the future. Thank the Lord, and it is upright. They're gonna they're about to bring you a commitment. I think that you are going to get yourself into a commitment or into a situation where uh this is the end of suffering, okay, whatever it is. You're going to get yourself into a commitment with somebody that is probably a soulmate. I think it, you... I, I think this is... A, when I see that good fortune card, I think of the Wheel of Fortune. I think it's unexpected. You may find yourself at the right place at the right time. This is like an unexpected commitment. Unexpectedly committed unexpectedly committed to something we have justice here which could be news of legalities everything turning out as it should i do believe that there is a decision that is going to be made that helps you in some way it's going to help to bring you up it's going to help to stabilize you it's going to help it's going to it's like you've asked for something <coughs> excuse me the Queen of Pentacles has a golden opportunity in her hand. She she's manifested. She's got the Ace of Pentacles in her hand. <coughs> Somebody has asked for something. I don't know. All of a sudden, I need to take a break. I need to. I need to breathe. I think that you must need to breathe. I need to gather myself. I need to gather my. I need to take a second. You may need to take a second. I think that this is all of a sudden. Obviously, something is going to happen all of a sudden. This is the birth of a new life. You are in the process, and it comes very unexpectedly. You give birth whenever when it's time. Okay, you don't get to choose. It's time. 
it's time. It's time for you to receive balance, to get what you deserve. You're about to get something that you deserve if you haven't gotten it already. This is definitely the end of suffering. But I feel like there's a lack of faith. You don't believe. You don't trust. You need to have faith. There's paranoia here. You need to let go of your paranoia. There's a need to accept an outcome everything is turning out as it should they're bringing you an opportunity they're bringing you an opportunity that can help you to heal this is your soulmate it's time for you to take control it's time for you to get organized it's time for you to get structured this is going to bring you structure it's going to bring you what you want this is the end of a family feud you know there could be a death here as well and i don't know if it is a father figure and i hate to say that but or this is just the end of a painful situation okay this is because of the three of swords the hierophant and the ten of swords it's the that this has been a lot of suffering you've been stabbed you have been hurt very 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 badly by an individual who abused their power over you but I think that you have been working really, 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 really hard on yourself. You've learned your value. You're still learning your value. I feel like you have been manifesting. I feel like there's an end of a legacy here. So I don't know, or, or the end of a family feud, whatever that is. This family feud is coming to an end. You're about to get some sort of justice for the pain that you have encountered. And if this isn't a family feud, this could be a relationship that really hurt you. Somebody um, really caused you a lot of anxiety, a lot of depression. They, they, they caused you to suffer. Son of a gun. Oh my God, it is. It's, oh, it's, it's a lot. It is a lot. I think that, uh, you are going to be attending a get together or there is going to be an upcoming get together with somebody that can help you to heal from this pain. This is a healer. Okay. This is a healer. This is a motherly energy. There's going to be a, well, there is a separation. This is feeling in pain. Do not believe. Do not trust. You have been hurt so badly that you do not believe that you are good enough. You are good enough. We also have somebody here that I feel like a decision is going to be made in regards to a commitment. Somebody's going to be making a big decision. There's been an abuse of power. This is breaking free. It is breaking free from this. I, we have like a, a, a total loss in your past, you know, total ruin. Somebody has totally stabbed you in some way. They totally, 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 totally hurt you really, 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 really badly. But things are about to go in your favor. There's something that is about to go in your favor. You're about to get the justice that you receive. Things are going to work out in your favor. We have the Eight of Pentacles, the Hierophant Reverse, Injustice. Whoever this person is that abused their power over you, that is socially driven, that does not... do the right thing i feel like they are about to to hit the ground they're because underneath that hero font reverse is the ten of swords they're about to hit the ground that person is about to hit the ground they they may get it be whoever your this person is that abused you they are suffering right now 
They may be in a commitment that is falling apart. They're not happy with their life. They're losing money. They may be going through a divorce. You may be going through a divorce. Somebody could be going through a divorce. There is a painful separation here. There is. From an individual that cannot do the right thing. This person is society driven. They, they don't. They don't follow their heart in any way. They're all about society. There's a separation from this person. This person is not really committed. This is the end of a commitment. I do. There is. There's, this is the end of a commitment with somebody that really broke your heart. This person really broke your heart. It's all coming to an end. You're about to get some justice. You're about to... Uh, this is just about to end. You're about to connect with a soulmate. You are. This is somebody that is real. This is somebody that is solid. This is somebody that is that is going to help you heal from this abuse. But you have to allow them. You've got to let your guard down. You've got to let them in. Let them in. They are real. They are solid. They are stable. They have something to offer you. This is somebody that you asked for. Maybe you were praying and you, be and you never believed that this person was going to come. <laughs> okay. Here they are. It does come after pain, though, because of that empress. Okay? This is the birth of a new life. This is creating a new life. You are about to receive a blessing. It is definitely time. Something is about to go in your favor. Consider this your lucky break. We've been talking about this. This is a soulmate connection. Leave the past hurts behind. Stop focusing on whoever it was that, I don't know, looks like they, they really beat you down. They really betrayed you. They really, 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 really betrayed you. They may, I don't know what they did, but... This person that betrayed you is going to lose a lot of money. They are losing money. This person that hurt you, it feels like they've worked, worked, worked their whole life for money. And they put money before anything else. They're about to lose a lot of money. And maybe the money is going to come to you. I don't know. There is some sort of justice that is going to be served. It may have to do with money. I feel like you've been very anxious, you've been very worried, you've been worried about an outcome. Don't worry, don't worry. You are about to receive something of value, okay? Let me tell you, you are. This is, this is huge. This is a gift. And you have somebody here that can take care of you. Let them. You're beautiful, you're glowing. Somebody is coming to help you. Justice, something, if there's legalities, if any of you are dealing with legalities, it's gonna go in your favor. This is an outcome that goes in your favor with justice and reversed. This is also karma. So whoever it is that has abused you, they're experiencing some karma. There's always two sides to karma. There's a winner and a loser. Something is about to go in your favor. You are about to get some sort of golden opportunity that you did not think that you were going to get. This may just be a soulmate connection. You're going to be deepening a bond with somebody. I'm positive. Good luck.